Nowadays, using only one type of sensor, cabin interior noise problems can be solved more accurately in a wider frequency range and quicker. For a comprehensive, state-of-the-art but time-consuming analysis, two methods can be used for measuring the sound source and only one method can be used for determining the transfer path. PU probes cover the entire frequency range in one go, measuring the particle velocity in the low frequency range and sound intensity at the higher frequency range. So for a comprehensive analysis, PU probes replace accelerometers, scanning lasers, sound pressure transducers and PP sound intensity probes. PU probes are not susceptible to reflections and thus the need to apply damping foam is eliminated. As a consequence, with PU probes substantial time saving of more than 75% can be realized. PU probes eliminate the two adverse mass load effects for both frequency ranges. For lower frequency ranges, the accelerometers causing a mass load effect are replaced by a non-contact measurement method. For the higher frequency range, the damping foam is no longer required. The PU method allows testing on the road since the windows are no longer blocked with damping foam. A new and complementary testing method emerges with a new trade-off to be made between standardization of measurement conditions applied and the cost of infrastructure involved. The very same PU probes can be used for other purposes as well, for example direct acoustic camera. PU based source path contribution. This measurement allows you to tell how much noise a certain source makes, perceived at a listener position. The method requires two measurements. The first measurement is the measurement of the path, the path from source to ear. The second measurement is the source strength determination. Two measurements are required to cover the complete audio bandwidth. If you assume that this is the body in white of a car, for low frequencies accelerometers are used to estimate the surface velocity. However, at higher frequencies more measurement points are required, so this method becomes very difficult to use. At high frequencies, normally sound intensity measurements are done, but now with a traditional sound intensity probe, one needs foam. Because of the acoustics inside a car is difficult for a traditional sound intensity probe. Now, with a PU sound intensity probe, we don't need this foam and we can measure inside the car without foam. And if we measure for high frequencies with a PU sound intensity probe, we measure without foam. And for low frequencies, we can use the velocity part of the PU probe to measure the surface acceleration. So, with the PU probe, we can measure both low as high frequency sound waves in a car and we cover the complete audio bandwidth.